Well, Mary of Gelders was the daughter of Arnold, Duke of Gelders, and she was the niece of, of Philip, Duke of Burgundy. And it was at the court of Burgundy where Mary was actually brought up. I suppose I was thinking to a similar scenario as Joan and James I, and you've got a very young woman coming from a, a different style of European court, possibly a lot more uh, wealth, and then coming to a completely foreign country. And I was imagining a character that would have a different reaction. So I think in her sense, it, it, for her, it's much more of a challenge that she relishes, that it, for her it's exciting. This is a, a very strong marriage alliance for the Scots and it allows James II, having become um, married, to emerge from his minority in a true sense and start to take up the reins of government in his own right. I like the idea that her arrival and her character is kind of a catalyst to James going, oh, do you know what? It's time I was a man, it's time I stepped up to the mark, it's time I just worked out what kind of an adult I'm going to be from this damaged child. In the course of the play, she's able to pull him out of um, a really dark place and support him, give him love and affection, and allow him to create a domestic world around him which is protecting and safe. So that's the character she has, is, is the, the woman who's excited by the peril of her situation and is then the catalyst to allowing him to be a man, really. Do you know what I love about her? What I love playing with is her total, um, actually childlike honesty. And yes, yeah, she's, she's still only 15, but she has this huge responsibility now. But she still keeps that kind of down-to-earth, childlike um, way of tackling everything. And, especially, and it's quite like some of the things she says are quite sort of shocking and you think, oh, all right. But, but it comes from a place of just, well, no, that's how it is and I'm going to tell you that, so sorry.